morning, everyone. I'm Krista Gutierrez. From playtime to the ER, a boy falls on a syringe in his neighborhood, and those who do clean up in the area say they're not that surprised. News 13's Catherine Mazone is in the newsplex with the details. That's right, Crystal. James Garcia says he's frustrated, but he's not the only one. And those who clean up in the area say a neighborhood park is contributing to the problem. Every day, James Garcia comes home from work to his southeast Albuquerque neighborhood and plays outside with his kids, Ezekiel and Noah. But Tuesday, Garcia's routine turned into a nightmare. We were playing football outside and um, my son accidentally tripped. I think, you know, he was just pumped up. And we came in and he started saying his knee was hurting. So we sat him down and then we happened to look and sure enough, we took a broken needle out of his knee. A used syringe needle. You're thinking, wow, you know, this just happened? Did it just happen to my child? Garcia and his wife rushed Ezekiel to the emergency room where doctors drew blood for testing. The next day, they took him to his doctor. The main concern, hepatitis C. How can you tell an eight-year-old that he could possibly have contracted a serious or a fatal, you know, disease from a needle like that. Garcia is at a loss. It's sad that you can't allow your children to even go out in the front yard and play. We're concerned enough where we're thinking of maybe moving. Jeffrey Holland voluntarily picks up trash not far from Garcia's neighborhood. That's near Charleston and Zuni. He says places like Wilson Park are possibly where problems start. We find broken beer bottles, broken alcohol bottles and uh, we've been finding syringes lately. Seeing it one time is too frequently, of course. His group cleaned it a week ago and already the blood right there. He says it's a safety hazard for anyone, especially kids. It's located next to a school, so there's obviously kids that come to and from school through this park and and I'm sure they want to use this park for their own uh, leisure as well. Police patrol the area, but Holland says he thinks city officials could do more. He also says the community could do more by reporting something like this before someone gets hurt. They're not allowed to go to the park anymore. That's it. Now, Jeffrey Holland believes left unchecked, Wilson Park will only get worse from here. City officials say police do troll the area but can't be there 24-7. So they're asking residents to keep a watchful eye and call police if needed. Crystal, back to you. All right, thanks, Catherine. City officials say crews visit Albuquerque's 298 parks at least once a week. A park with more 311 calls could be seen up to 10 times a week. They could not tell us how many 311 calls have come in about Wilson Park.